Hello, this is Reza from Radakad. In this video, I'm going to talk about the difference between lake house, warehouse, or data warehouse, uh, and Power BI Data Mart. These three objects seem to be similar in Microsoft Fabric and Power BI, but what are their differences? Which one you should choose? Is one of them getting deprecated by the other one? Uh, I'm going to answer all of these questions in this video. Um, if you are new to Microsoft Fabric, Microsoft Fabric is, uh, I'll just give you a really quick introduction, it's an end-to-end -end data analytics uh, software as a service solution um, announced by Microsoft a couple of weeks ago. Um, it includes multiple uh, workloads for data engineering, data warehousing, BI, uh, real-time streaming, data science, the storage, the governance around it, all, all of that. I have a separate video about Microsoft Fabric and how to enable it and some videos explaining about other workloads of it. So go and check out those, uh, those videos. Now, there are three objects in Microsoft Fabric, which is focus of this video, and I'm going to explain what are these and what are their differences. Very quickly, introduction about each of these. So Power BI Data Mart is a, um, Power BI Data Mart is actually what um, has been introduced um, a year ago uh, by Microsoft. And uh, and that time Microsoft uh, announced it, uh, it was playing, um, a, as a role of uh, a database inside the multi-layered architecture of a Power BI where you can load data from data flow into the data, uh, using data flow into the data mart. Data mart is hosted in Azure SQL database. And then um, from there, there would be a Power BI uh, data set associated with that, which you can do the modeling in the online editor of the, um, of the Power BI data mart. And and uh, after that, build reports from it. So it played an important role for um, data analysts without having a really data warehouse or a place to store the data. This Power BI Data Mart was built for that purpose. Uh, and I have a separate video explaining about that as well. So go and check it out if you have any questions. The next thing is Lake House, which again, I have a video specifically talking about Lake House. Lake House is uh, coming from Data Lake and warehouse, so it's combined of these two. It is a place to store uh, structured data, such as data tables, and unstructured data, such as files, images, or anything like that, in the same environment. Lakehouse comes with um, uh, storage behind the scene, which is using one lake. You can load data into Lakehouse using data pipelines of a uh, data factory or Dataflow Gen 2, or you can use notebooks, or you can use Spark job definitions. Uh, and then to get data from it, there is a SQL endpoint that you can use. That SQL endpoint provides ability to write query commands, SQL query commands that only reads the data, not writes it. Um, and you can use also Power BI to get data from it. Um, similar to the Power BI Data Mart, this also has a uh, Power BI data set associated with the lake house that you can use that for the Power BI reporting. Again, I have a video about lake house as well, so go and check it out. And then the next one, the third one is data warehouse or in short called warehouse. Warehouse or data warehouse is um, a structural, a structured data storage uh, where you can store your data tables um, and you can build like whatever schema you want to build, like a star schema or even non star schema, but star schema usually works better in analytics environment. Um, you build your tables over there and do you load data into that using Dataflow Gen 2 again or uh, data pipeline or even SQL commands. So you can have SQL commands writing data into that. The SQL endpoint of Data Warehouse is much stronger than Lakehouse because you, it enables you to read and write. Um, and so it's more designed for the database developer or data warehouse developer to work with. Similar to the other two objects, this also have the Power BI dataset associated with it, which can be used for um, for reporting. And the data of warehouse is also stored 
in one leg. Warehouse also enables you to have um, high performance um, without much of a complication. So behind the scene, it uses um, some of the features called compute bursting that um, expands the compute whenever is needed. Like when you are loading massive amount of data or you are querying the data, it brings up more compute. You don't have to worry about the difficulty of those things. Those are all happening behind the scene. So it is a high performance data warehouse system provided for you, which is really easy to use. Uh, now, these three are quite similar. So let's first talk about their similarities. So they are all pretty much um, similar in the way that they provide a storage engine where you store the data, a storage place where you store the data in it. So they, there is usually an ETL process, data flow, pipeline, SQL commands, whatever, that loads data into that storage. It, the storage might be Power BI, Data Mart, Lake House, and Warehouse. These are not the physical storage. The physical storage might be one lake or other storage behind the scene. But these are the objects which in you store the data uh, from the fabric or Microsoft Power BI environment. And then there is Power BI data set associated with that option. And usually you have Power BI live reports connected to that. These are all having um, a modeling environment, a web UI to build that modeling. So they all look similar in this sense when you look at it. Uh, but what is their differences, which is the main focus on this video? So the differences, let's start that with, um, with licensing. So the licensing is important. I have a different video about licensing, so I encourage you to go and check it out. But one of the things is that Power BI Data Mart is available in the premium capacity license in Power BI, but it's also available in premium per user license. Premium per user license enables you to use Data Mart up to 100 terabyte storage size, which is quite quite big size itself. Um, and for that, you just need a PPU, uh, which you can pay per user. So if you are in an organization with five users, and uh, all of those five users want to use Power BI, and you want to use Data Mart, then Data Mart is a good choice for you, because it is just going to cost $100. Uh, versus the other two objects are um, fabric objects. For them, you need a fabric capacity. Fabric capacity minimum starts from F2, uh, and that is $280 a month if you are, are using one of the FSKUs. Uh, RISKUs would be cheaper, but still wouldn't be as cheap as what uh, PPU for a very few users give you. So that is one decision point. So like, do you uh, have PPU and do you have a small amount of users? Then Data Mart is an option you can use. Uh, but on the other hand side, if you want to use a lot of other interesting features that Power, that Marks of Fabric provides to you, um, then the lake house and warehouse comes with, with that. So it, it is important which license you are going with and that might define which, all, which of these might go better with your licensing scenario. Uh, the, next, uh, the next decision point or the next place that you can think about um, is scalability. So Power BI Data Mart is covering a lot of data up to 100 terabytes, but we have a better scalability with um, with the other two options, with lake house and warehouse. They are using one lake behind the scene. There's a compute bursting as part of this, which would expand the compute whenever needed. Uh, it upscales it, it downscales it. Even in low FSKUs, it is quite powerful uh, engine behind the scene. A lot of things are going on. So it is uh, built to cover um, huge amount of data. If we are talking about huge amount of data, you would probably get a better performance in warehouse and lake house versus the performance that you might get with um, data mark. But if the date, if the scalability is not a choice, then you might not consider this point. As I said, pros and cons in each. One other thing is, do you want to store only a structured data or do you want to store structured and unstructured data? Unstructured data is like files like a image file or anything like that, which doesn't really have a structure. A structured data can be um, like data tables. 
And we have also semi-structured data, like data files that includes like table style information. Um, Lake House is able to store all of these versus the other two objects, the Power BI Data Mart or Warehouse, they are built for a structured data. They are built for situations that you want to build mainly a database for storing, um, storing the data versus Lake House is a database and is also a place to store your files. So if you are looking for a storage place for everything, Lake House probably would be a better option in that case. Uh, the other decision point is uh, how is the SQL endpoint working? The SQL endpoint is um, providing that connection where you can connect to the data mart, the lake house, or the warehouse using a SQL tool such as SQL Server Management Studio. Even Power BI can be that SQL point. Whatever that can write query that runs on that um, SQL engine of lake house, warehouse, or uh, the data mart. Now with the warehouse, this connection is read and write. You can write SQL commands that read the data, like query the data, select statement, things like that, or write commands that insert data, update data. Not only that, but also a structure of that, like alter a table, create a table. These are all possible in warehouse. So it gives you full operational SQL commands. Still, it's not full like T-SQL commands. There are some commands you cannot do still, uh, but it is much more operational than the other two options. The Lake House and the Power BI Data Mart would give you a read-only uh, SQL experience. So you can query the data, you can select whatever you want, but you cannot, for example, insert the data, update the data, or even um, change the structure of a table. That is another difference point. Um, the next point is the persona of the user working with it. Do you consider yourself as a citizen data engineer or do you consider yourself as a data engineer, like a data scientist or a database data warehouse developer? That would make a big difference because Data Mart is built for a citizen data analyst. If I'm a citizen data analyst, I usually know Power BI. I know Power Query in a good way because Power Query is a low code, no code tool that I can use to do data transformations. So I can use that to load data into data mart and then use Power BI to get to read data from that data mart. I wouldn't really need much of a SQL experience or or even other languages such as Python, Scala or R, Spark and things like that. That data mart is a perfect tool for me as a citizen data analyst. On the other hand side, if I'm more like a SQL developer, database developer, data warehouse developer, I know how to write SQL commands. These commands can be select commands or it can be commands that I create objects with it, alter objects or even insert data. So I'm like living a life of a database dev. Then warehouse is the built environment for me. I can do whatever I want with my SQL commands. Plus, I have also the option to use Dataflow as well. And if I'm a data engineer and data scientist, I might like to use uh, notebooks, as, uh, Spark job definition with languages such as Spark R, Scala, uh, Python, in addition to the SQL commands that I can use and even Dataflow, data pipeline. So I have a lot of more tools to work with if I'm a data engineer. Of course, I have a different route to take to learn about all of these, but the persona of uh, the person working with it provides a different skill set, and that also makes a mm, big difference in which one you are going to choose. From the Power BI point of view, are these much different? Depending on which way you use Power BI. If you use Power BI to um, get data from uh, any of these and import it into Power BI, then the scalability is important. If the size of data is not that much big, then there wouldn't be much difference between Data Mart, Data Lake, or uh, sorry, Data Mart, Warehouse, and Lake House. Um, because it's just import that data into Power BI, the rest happens in the Power BI world. Uh, but if you are having a lot of data, then the process of importing it, that refresh process would be faster with the with the lake house and warehouse because they are using compute bursting one lake behind the scene. Uh, if you are using direct query, um, again, there's a difference between lake house, warehouse and the data mart. Data mart uses the normal direct query to the SQL engine backend versus the 
lake house and warehouse are using a new mode called direct lake which is performing really fast much faster than direct query uh, which i'll explain about this in another video uh, and that is because of the one lake behind the scene of that so there might be better chances to uh, get a better performance especially with larger amount of data with lake house and warehouse compared to data mart in this case uh, if you want to compare all of these into one, so the data volume is big in all of these, but you would have unlimited data volume in Lakehouse and Warehouse. The type of data um, Lakehouse provides an uh, unstructured plus structured versus the other two is only for a structured data. Uh, the persona of developer for this citizen data analyst usually works best with the data mart. Data warehouse is usually good for the database developer, data warehouse developer, and data engineer or data scientist is good for the lake house. The skill set you would need is also depending on that. Like you would need SQL experience mainly if you are dealing with the warehouse. You wouldn't need much of that. If you are working with Data Mart, you would need Power BI experience, Power Query experience. With the lake house, you would, in addition to these, probably need some of the Spark, Scala, Python, and R experience as well. The ETL tools that you use are different as well. You use Dataflow with the Power BI Data Mart. With the data warehouse, you use Dataflow Gen 2, data pipeline, SQL commands with lake house in addition to those, not the SQL command, uh, you would be able to use notebooks and a Spark job definitions as well. Uh, the SQL endpoint for warehouse provides read and write capabilities where the other two are only read only. Uh, and the licenses, uh, all of these are available in Fabric Capacity license, but the Power BI Data Mart is also available with Power BI licenses and Power BI Premium or PPU. Uh, so at this point, you might have these questions that why we don't have all of these in one tool? Why should we have three tools doing the same thing, but each have different pros and cons? Why not one tool to do all of them? So I use this analogy usually if you want to know why not one tool. Um, next time you are in your neighborhood, go and... Um, uh, go to one car dealership, choose the brand you like, Mercedes, Jaguar, uh, Bentley, uh, Ford, you choose whatever you like, Toyota, um, and ask them that you want a car. So they will show you a lot of cars, a lot of different types of cars, and then they ask you what uh, is the use you want for this car. Do you want it for family, for um, just yourself, two of you? You want something that you can easily commute to city, find a car park easily because it's a small car. Uh, you want it for off-roading. So all of these would have different pros and cons in the car that you are picking. And there are cars for each of these. You have SUVs for larger families. You have utes or off-road cars, you have coupes or compact cars, you have supercars, there are different types of cars and most of the um, car um, manufacturer companies are aware of different requirements that leads to different types of cars. So that is why they building that. Same is true for, um, for programming languages. We have a lot of different programming languages. Why not one doing it all? Well, different requirements. Same thing here as well. Uh, data Mart and Data Lake and um, Data Mart and Lake House and Warehouse, they are different objects and they are built for different persona of people. They have pros and cons. So it is important that you choose the one that works best for you. So in summary, Data Mart uh, and Lake House and Warehouse, they are three objects that usually we use to store the data in it as a centralized database or data warehouse, you might call it, and then use Power BI or an analytical tool to get data from it. There are pros and cons in each, which, uh, which is depend on what license you are using, what is the volume of data, uh, what is your persona, what skill set you have, uh, and a few other uh, options that I mentioned here that based on those, you can go and choose the right one for your case. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you like this video, go, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Microsoft Power BI and Fabric. Until the next video, bye.